Well, uh, the picture that you are seeing right in front of you, it is of a very, very famous place, which is called Gare Hira. Right in the center, you can see the place from where one can enter and get out of the cave. This cave is three miles away from Mecca in a very famous mountain which is known as Hira. And that's why it's known as Gare Hira. The mountain of Hira, because of its importance and because of the personality Zat Rasul sallallahu alaihi wa sallam, who quite often stayed there, because of him, it is today known as Jabal Noor, Noor ka Pahar, and very few people remember it. As Gar as Kohe Hira. Zat Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi wa Wasallam used to go to this place. This is on one side of the mountain. And it's not very difficult to go there and get inside, although it's not all that easy also, because as I said. It's three miles, almost about five kilometers. Zatir Sul Sallallahu Alaihi wa Wasallam used to visit this cave right from his very young days. There are reasons for that. Obviously, we are proud to be his followers, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There were reasons for that. And what were the reasons? Those can be explained at a very, very large way, but we'll be very brief about it. Zatir Rasul, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wanted absolutely mental peace. Mental peace to worship Allah Almighty. They were absolutely, this cave was a deserted place. Ye bilkul ek virans jaga thi, where no human being would go, where no animal would go, where no evil was there, where people were not living. He had seen his society where he was living, in which he was living. They were full of evils. And those evils, those things, for example, worshipping the idols, it would give him mental unrest and mental problem. So, to get free from this and to be absolutely in peace, because when we pray to Almighty Allah, we must have complete peace. Here, he could pray with full confidence, with full conf concentration, and he was almost through with the God, leaving aside all those who were busy either in murdering or in l having brutalities on the slaves or bothering the women who were poor or doing all those things which are absolutely unliked by a gentleman. What to talk of my Prophet 
sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam he did not like it so that's why right from the beginning right from the very early days he had selected this place and quite often he would go there to say his prayers <laughs>